day until the perfect diamond reveals itself. The diamond cutters of New York are renowned for their work. These master cutters, mostly Jewish, are descended from generations of diamond families. There's a risk every time a diamond is put on a wheel, and Andy's diamond is worth half a million dollars. The risk is being wrong. Never push. You never push because you might not get what you need. It's not just, oh, let's bang them out. Certainly not on big, important diamonds. Big, important diamonds take time. Today, Arjav Mehta is getting married. It's a smart match, a strategic alliance. One diamond family will marry another. I won't have to. Ashna, whatever you want, you say. That will be done for you. I have not chosen the money. Every wedding needs a bride, and every bride needs a diamond, or two, or more, if you're marrying into one of the biggest diamond families in India. The future of the Meta dynasty depends on Ashna. She will bear the next eldest son to be groomed for the family business. Okay. It's so heavy. No, it's not so heavy. It's perfect. And I cannot bear it. But I'll keep it on my head. I cannot bear it this way. Mama, I cannot bear it. You have patience with them. They're doing it perfectly. One thing is enough. Yes, Mama, I require water or drink. I need water, Mama. I'm getting chakkar. Yes, and then pani for that. I call Chilampia. Over 5,000 people have come to the wedding. It's an important night in the Bombay social calendar. The Matas have spared no expense. The wedding is a display of pride from a family that has in three generations gone from poverty to great wealth. The guests press forward to share in the reflected light. Success breeds success. Money attracts money. Diamonds blaze deep into the night. Dharma card ne upuri jamri jawa ne sa. 
For all their seeming permanence, diamonds owe their lives to hands and eyes. Manoj's hand may slip. He may blink at the wrong moment. Diamonds have their brilliant existence, just this side of being ground to dust. <laughs> Martin has traveled through the night to make it to a meeting of diamond miners in Kono. Do people understand me? People understand? Me? They're suspicious. They've seen too many white men in white jeeps with good intentions come and go, and nothing has changed. First of all, if the digger is getting screwed, let them say the digger is getting screwed. So all waiting the apple really now for let them can't see the yeah. If the diggers are not they get better, then go able to go talk. Yeah, that's why. Yeah. Finally, the diamond who hold the digger say not benefit no the for winner yeah. But sometimes I find that when you don't see say fine. Sometimes I see the go put say not fine. They go put an other jilama hand. Jilama hand they go tell you say say this na double decker. This is crack. This is black. We no get power. The diggers tell Martin they are barely able to make a living because the price they get for their diamonds is controlled by Sierra Leone's exporters. If we create a market in Kono every Thursday and uh, there was an auction. How much you pay? How much you pay? How much you pay? High price taken. Yes. Nice. Would that be good? I like the idea. Do like people it. like that idea? Yes, I like that idea. You guys like that idea? Yeah. Yeah. We all enter inside for let we go, let it rise up, for let we free from this slavery. Say no, man. You need competition. Yes. Fair trade. Fair trade. Kasim Basma is one of just seven licensed exporters in the country. Together they control the $125 million a year diamond export trade. How much? Three million years. One million four hundred thousand here. We don't really see with little competition, the exporters set the price. Profits are high. Okay, we'll make a one million five hundred thousand. Okay, two million dollars. Get sport then. Yeah, I decide. Sport I decide. Not at the center, I decide. Yeah. It's not only a matter of talking price. You tell him, this is the fault of the diamond. You 
you convince the seller that this diamond is yellow, he wants to convince you that it is white. Who is stronger? He will be the winner. And most of the time with my business, I am the winner. Just for you, 1.6 an ocean. Okay? Sir. All right. Thank you very much. Martin Rappaport has come to meet with Kasim. He knows that without Kasim on side, his plan for better wages for the diggers will never work. I can't cut out any stakeholders. I'm, I'm trying to build a house of very, very difficult people. Hi,